Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video here for Mystery Box Monday. Typically on Mondays we do mystery boxes and we've got some mystery packs and boxes from different areas around the web. Some eBay stuff, some Facebook stuff, some website stuff. Let's check this first one out. Made by all different people at all different price points. And almost all of them are available to you guys out there in the hobby. You can maybe see if you see something you like and give it a try. So thank you very much for watching us today. I hope everyone's having a very pleasant start to their week. Before we get started, just a couple announcements. Tomorrow is Team Break Tuesday. We've got Update. We've got Bowman Sterling. We've got Cosmic and more. So we'll be live tomorrow here on YouTube. And then on Wednesday, Whatnot Wednesday is back again. So stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for joining us. If you have something to send us, you can send it to us at Jabs Family Attention Mystery Box Monday, P.O. Box 402 Pleasant Unity, PA. 15676 and we'll get it opened up. We're going to start this off with a $150 pack. So here's the note. And yes, I did slice right through the top of the note when I was opening the package. So let's piece it together. It says, Hey, Jabs family, my name is Tyler. I'm 15 and I'm making these mystery packs for my collection. They are loaded, truly loaded with big hits. I'm sending you one of the packs. They are $150 a pack. There's 28 packs minus the one I'm sending you. I'm selling these packs, and the money I make is going toward my first car. Thank you, and I hope everyone enjoys the hits just like I did. And P.S., if I would like to buy all 28 packs, I can send them an email. The packs are also listed at on eBay. Inserted in every pack is a list of the top hits that are randomly inserted in most of the packs. Now, Tyler, one thing here for the general public you got to give us an eBay number because I don't know if there's not even a name for this. Like, I don't even know what to tell people to search. So uh, what I'll tell people to do, the only way to get one of these packs is send Tyler an email, noblescott.nb at gmail.com, and he can maybe send you a link to the eBay site. Maybe he can even sell it to you outside of eBay and save you that 13% fees or whatever it is now on eBay. So <clears throat> I can already feel a slab in here, at least one. And it is a $150 pack. So when I'm looking at these mystery packs that are in this price range, I'm, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, are they going to give me $150 worth of value or more? Because I would rather have more. Otherwise, I would just go buy the card I want for $150. In fact, I've got a card I want right now. I'm watching on eBay. It's got about an hour left. And I don't know what it's going to end up going for, but <clears throat> we'll see if I can get it. That's what I do on eBay. I, I watch something, and then if I really want it, I will tell my Siri to set a timer, and hopefully it doesn't like come on here and interrupt the video and actually do that. And then have the timer set for like just a few seconds before it goes off. So it's not actually a slab. It is a magnetic one-touch. All right, here we go. $150 a pack. We start off with a nice one. It's a Matt Olson from Archive Signature Series. It is numbered to 99. This is 2015 Bowman. So an early pre-rookie of Matt Olson. I don't know anything about football, so you'll have to help me comp this pack, folks. We've got Lamar Jackson. It has a $35 price tag on it. We also have a Gabriel Davis to 25. This is a decent card. Numbered to just 10 on a Will Clark. From Diamond Icons. If you remember Diamond Icons, those were massively expensive for a box. Number to 10, Will Clark. That's a great card right there. And last but not least, we have a Beau Bichette Diamond Kings. And it is not numbered. It is from his rookie year. It says this is one of a continuing series of famous personalities. I don't know what that would be worth. I haven't actually seen that card before. And then there's a little note here as well just goes on okay here's the name of the lol t multi-sport mystery packs and then it gives you some of the cards that you can look out for right there i don't know if we hit any of those in i don't think we did but could uh, 150 dollars if you think it's worth it go over to ebay and search lol t multi mystery sport or just send them an email so thank you very much for the mystery pack always fun to open up and now we move on to the next one Next up, we have the MLB 
fire packs. I believe we've done this before. <laughs> Look, they're on series 19 now. We've definitely done these before. 19 series of this? That's a successful product right there. It says, hey, Jabs, I've got another series of MLB fire packs available, and I wanted to send you a few to try out on your channel. I've been doing these since 2021, and I'm up to series 19. They've been successful. Series 18 sold out within a few days of release, and as always, I appreciate the exposure you give to mystery pack sellers like myself. Each MLB fire pack is $30 and will include an autograph, a relic, an elite rookie card, such as Shoyo Tani, Soto Acuna, etc., a Hall of Fame legend rookie card, Hall of Famer or legend rookie card, like Bo Jackson, Clemens, Wade Boggs, etc., 15 plus rookie stars. The rookies will be legit rookies. It's only 19 cards per pack, but there's no junk in these packs, and they cost less than the Blaster of Topps Chrome. He says that I've moved off of eBay because of the fees, and MLB Fire Packs can now be purchased through his website, and there it is right there in bold. It's mlbfirepacks.squarespace.com. While you're at the site, sign up for an email list. I don't spam, but I do do giveaways and discounts to email subscribers. He goes on to say also I'm expanding into social media to try to grow his business, and he's got a promo code for you. If you follow him on Instagram, 10% off the order. And it is, uh, his Instagram is MLB Fire Packs on there. So, Josh, thank you very much. Let's check it out. 30 bucks a pack. I'm not sure if this is one pack and this is a second or if these are both one pack. I guess we'll kind of figure it out once we open them up. Let's get into this and see what we have. So, here's 15 rookies and stars. I guess these are two packs. This is $60 worth of packs because here's your auto relic and elite rookie card, Hall of Famer legend. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for sending two of these. All right, so here's your 15 rookies and stars. So we'll have some stars in there like Tatis and Rafi Devers. There's a Freddie Freeman pink from 2018 Chrome. Josh Naylor first. There's a nice one right there. We've got Tasker Hernandez rookie first. Actually, it's his rookie card. That's a good one. Homer Derby champion. You Darvish rookie from back in the day from 2012. We got Jerks and Profar. That's his first Bowman Chrome. Also going back over a decade there. We've got Mason Miller's first Bowman from 2021. The Vladdy pre-rookie Bowman Chrome. We've got a Colton Kowser. George Kirby first is a very nice card from 2019 Bowman Draft. We've got the Austin Riley from 2019 Update. Cole Foster, number to 75 from Pro Debut. And Manny Machado, first Bowman. A great card right there. He's a future Hall of Famer. Along with a numbered Alex Verdugo to 299. So... Right there, those cards, pretty good. A lot of people will be happy with, with those for a $30 mystery pack. But we haven't even hit the Auto Relic or the Elite Rookie card or the Hall of Famer or Legend Rookie. Let's see what we got. So we start off with Doc Gooden. That's his 85 Donruss Rookie card. And we've got the Elite Rookie card of the top rookies. is going to be a Gunnar Henderson Heritage. We've got a Reggie Jackson. That is really great right there. A Reggie Jackson to 99. And Brenner Cox, numbered to 199 right there. I, mean, I think my favorite card is the Reggie in this in this whole, this whole pack. And there, uh, maybe the Manny Machado second. There's good cards in there for sure. A really nice pack there. Again, at 30 bucks, that's honestly the price of many blasters out there right now. You may even pay a little more than that in tax. Because some blasters are priced at $29.99. Some stores, Tops Update. MSRP on Tops Update blasters are $25, but a lot of stores are selling them for more than that, especially online. Here we go with the second one. 15 more rookies and stars with a Frank Thomas 90 score update. It's pretty cool. I always like that card. Let's see the 15 rookies and stars. There's Nolan Ryan 83 Fleer right after the Luis Robert Sepia. Pretty nice card right there. We've got Gunner on the Mojo from 2024 Bowman Mega. A Matt Olson first Bowman. We've got Taj Bradley from the Finest box there. I, I like those Finest throwback boxes. Finest flashbacks are pretty cool. Brooks Lee first Bowman. Jason Dominguez rookie card. Michael Kopeck first. We've got Walker Bueller. That's his Chrome rookie. Max Clark first. We've got Riley Green's rookie. Here's a great one. John Kenzie Noel absolutely mashes. You may have seen him in the playoffs with, with that massive home run. Um, 
in the ALCS. He's a, he's a really good player. He has big home run numbers throughout his minor league career. He could be a 30 home run plus bat year to year in the big leagues. Finally, the Guardians getting that big bat from the farm system. There's a Wyatt Langford first from Bowman draft, the number three overall pick. Third best card in that set in some people's opinion. Some people may have him number two. Paul Skeen is definitely number one, but Wyatt Langford, a great one there. How about a Joey Votto rookie? It's the National Baseball Card Day rookie card and Nico Horner number two, 200. We have the Elite rookie card and the Hall of Fame rookie card is going to be the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, the Elite rookie. It's Bobby Witt Jr. It's his first Bowman from 2020. That's a great card right there. The Relic will be future Hall of Famer Miguel Cabrera in his Miami Marlins days. In fact, they may have even been called the Florida Marlins way back then. And last but not least, Spencer Horvitz will be the autograph. Blue, numbered to 150, team color match. Those are great packs for 30 bucks. And the good thing about this, some of these eBay packages that come in, there's no feedback. You go, you'll go and you look at the eBay page of zero sales. Their feedback will be like one or two or low number stuff from their purchases that they actually bought for themselves. But they don't have a seller history. The MLB Fire Packs have a lengthy seller history with 18 sold out series of these packs you can really see what everyone thinks about his product in the feedback so i would encourage you to check out what everyone says and let's move on to the next one here we go this is duke's rookie pack got a thank you pack in here as well i don't know what's my deal with these with this box cutter but i sliced this one too it says, hi, Jabs. I would like to start by saying thank you for what you do for the hobby. I've sent you my subscription boxes before and have done very well with them. Today, I've sent you the newest products on my website. You have my rookie pack, which is $35 shipped. It includes a hobby pack with several hits. There are only 30 of these. I've also sent you a Halloween pack, which can be baseball, football, or Pokemon packs. They're $15 shipped. If anybody wants to order four or more, send a message for a discounted rate. So thanks again for everything you do and the passion with which you do it. So, Sandra, thank you very much. Here's the website to pick these packs up, dukesmysterypacks.com. So we've got the Halloween pack for 15 which is right here. I guess it would go this way. And we've got the rookie pack for 35 Let's start off with the $15 Halloween pack. It looks like there's something taped to it. It's a guaranteed hit. That's pretty nice. So a guaranteed hit. What are you getting here? I'm guessing this will be the baseball. And looks like you're going to get unopened packs, which is pretty nice. All right. So we start off with gross outs. I remember buying these as a kid. I feel like the year these came out was probably like 92 or so. 91, 92. And I remember getting these. I have some of these out in the garage in the PC. Oh, man, Topps Kids. I'll be honest with you, Sandra. I don't know how you can afford to put this in your box. Topps Kids wax boxes are so expensive now. I remember I used to see these for $5 a box out at flea markets back in 2019 before the pandemic. But now, I mean, just look at the prices. They've really gone up. Travis Fryman on the front of the box there. That's a blast from the past. We've got a Heritage... Retail pack, we've got a Series 2 retail pack, and Pokemon packs. I've been asked about Pokemon. So I've got a, a kid that's like, why do you only have baseball cards? I wish you had Pokemon packs. I was like, well, I only like baseball cards. He's like, well, I like Pokemon. You should get some Pokemon packs. So now I'm going to actually not open these. I'm going to keep these and take them into my prize box at school. And my student Mario is his Spanish name, like his fake name that we use in class. He'll be super happy. So I don't think Mario knows about our channel, but he'll be happy when he sees those. When he uh, wins his next prize, he goes up to the prize box to get something. So we'll start off with the baseball gross outs from Leaf. We've got Righty Whitey right there with a massive right arm. And I want to get the year on these. Did they put the year? I, I'm guessing there's no, he's five foot three, but he's six three from the right side. Not, no year on that. I'm guessing like 91, 92, because I remember getting these. It was kind of like a spinoff of Garbage Pell Kids, like a rival to Garbage Pell Kids done by Leaf. We've got Moosehead Melvin. There's the San Quentin Chicken. 
We've got Stink in the South. It just really reminds me of the Garbage Pill Kids. Charlie the Chewer. Wacko Willie. I wonder if any of these are kind of like play on names from actual players. Ollie the Oaf. We've got Lips Leroy and Backwards Barry. <laughs> so a bunch of like gross out looking monsters right there. I think I like these because they have like some biographical information on the back and tried to actually make it look like baseball cards. I believe these peeled off to become stickers. I'll actually throw those in my prize box as well. I'll take those in with the Pokemon packs. Pretty cool. What else do we have? We're going to do the Tops Kids. I used to buy these too as a kid. And look at that. The gum was actually wrapped. I feel like these came out, what, 1992? And in 1992, they eliminated gum from the flagship Tops product because collectors were complaining. It ruins the cards. Every pack, one of those 15 cards is ruined. And the other one on the other side is ruined from wax. So can you maybe fix that? And they did. They made it uh, like a plastic wrapper to get rid of the, the wax. And they also just completely got rid of the gum, which I, I was kind of sad about. But for the folks that like the gum, especially kids, they had gum in these packs. There's Howard Johnson, Fred McGriff. These are definitely geared towards kids. And by kids, we're talking like probably under the age of 10, but I still bought them at the age of 12 or whatever. There's Edgar Martinez, George Bell, Yvonne Calderon. Dave Steve looking all jacked up on steroids. And Todd Zeal is the last one right there. And backs of the cards look like that. So I don't think I've ever done a box of Topps Kids, but maybe I have years and years ago on the channel. But pretty cool set right there. We'll go into the Series 2 pack next. It's a retail pack. But you can find some good stuff, and it's actually going to be a, a retail pack from a Fanatics box, it looks like. We got one of those Fanatics parallels in here. It's going to be a Liam Hendricks from the Red Sox and Neil Vermont, Neil Lee Marte. I guess that, that might actually be a, a blaster pack from a Fanatics blaster box. And what do we got next? It's the Heritage Retail Pack. Again, it's just a $15 pack. It's just supposed to be for fun. You're not going to get anything crazy in there. How about this? Raffy Devers. So this, must, this pack must have been from a monster box because those red parallels are about three per monster. So that's pretty nice. And then here's your guaranteed hit in the Halloween pack. That wouldn't be a bad thing to throw into a Halloween basket or what do you use for your Halloween trick-or-treating? Pillowcase? Throw it into a Halloween pillowcase. We've got the guaranteed hit's a numbered card. It's Manny Ramirez on the rose gold, which will be numbered on the back to 75. So that was the $15 pack. Here is the big boy pack. This is a $35 pack, and it's going to be rookies. So I'm expecting this to be baseball. Inside, we have a sealed pack of Series 2. And we've got our rookies here. So let's check them out. Here's all the information from Duke's Mystery Packs if you want to grab one of these for yourself. And we'll start off with the Series 2 pack and get that opened up. It is a hobby pack. So there's a 1 in 24 chance of a relic or autograph in here. And also slight increase chance of finding numbered cards can't wait for the update retail stuff to start flowing i am really excited for hanger boxes just thinking about numbered cards my mind automatically clicks over to when am i going to get my hands on some hanger boxes because i've heard that they are loaded with numbered cards we'll see maybe at the end of this week so coming up next what do we have here there's a jordan lawler with a John Wimmer number to 125. Eggie Rosario, auto right there. Brian Acuna is number to 399 and a prospect card there. So a whole bunch of rookies and prospects. And then our next one, we've got Henry Davis Mojo rookie. Ty Pete is number to 299. Ellie De La Cruz, that's a nice prospect card there from Bowman Heritage. Alec Bohm on the Aqua Wave refractor. And Emmanuel Rodriguez, another auto. It'll be numbered to 150 so sandra duke's mystery packs check them out folks and they send a thank you as well which is pretty awesome and wow there's a, a gift card in here which is pretty amazing and a paul skeins too holy cow sandra thank you very very much it is a cheesecake factory gift card wow that's that's awesome we will definitely use this. It says on the back, a gift for Jab's family from Duke's Mystery Packs as a thank you. That is 
Very, very generous of you. I really appreciate that. And a Paul Skeens. These are both going to go to Sophia. We actually have a special video on the channel members only video tab releasing tomorrow. All about Sophia. So um, if you're a channel member, look for that. I'll probably drop that around maybe 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. This should be uh, should be interesting for you. And I must apologize to the MLB Fire Packs. They sent a thank you pack as well. And I accidentally overlooked it. Sorry about that. So, didn't mean to overlook it. We've got Jared Jones Ray Wave, which I am a collector of Jared Jones now. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that with my other Jared Jones cards. And actually, I'll just be honest with you. The card that I'm watching tonight is a Jared Jones numbered card that I want to grab. We'll see if I get it or not. There's a McCutcheon Orange from Stadium Club. The McCutcheon Rookie card is Bowman First Chrome. That's an awesome card. And another rookie right there. So really great stuff right there. And I'm going to keep a couple of these. And these two, the rookies, I'm going to give those to Sophia as well because uh, she actually now collects McCutcheon. She came really close to getting his autograph in person, and she's been a big fan ever since. Just him standing there signing all those autos. Unfortunately, ran out of time because it was pregame. He had to go and get into the dugout. But she thought that was cool. Now she's a big fan. Next up. So thanks for the, the thank you packs, guys. I really appreciate it. But this one's interesting. This is from a second grader, which I'll tell you, I have a second grader. My youngest daughter is in second grade. And I'll tell you what here, Jace, your handwriting is better than hers. I got to really work with her on that. So nice job. Keep paying attention to school. Handwriting is very important. And making a product for sale when you're, what, seven or eight? That's really cool. Let's check this out. It says, hi, Jabs. My name is Jace. This is my first mystery pack. This is for free. I love your videos. I'm subbed to your channel. I'm in second grade. The Andrew McCutcheon is for Sophia. There's also three base rookies and one auto, one base. Man, thank you very much. You got to keep your autos. If you're if you're in second grade, keep your autos, keep your relics. But, man, I really appreciate this. Get that collection built up. And it's always a good idea to make sure you have permission to send this. So I, I would almost say if your dad helped you send this, that's awesome. Good job, Dad. And I'm sure there's probably some people out there who would like to send your son some cards but never have it sent to your house. You have to have it sent to maybe like a P.O. box or something like that. But really cool like that. So, yeah, just any kids out there watching, if you're thinking about making mystery packs like that, run it from a P.O. box. P.O. boxes are like, I don't know, $45 for six months or something like that. Here we go with this one. And also, you can write that off as a business expense off of your profit. So, here we go. We've got Ellie De La Cruz rookie card in there. That's awesome. My, uh, my... One of my daughters, Elsa, loves Ellie De La Cruz, Heston Kerstad, Adelie Rushman, Jason Dominguez, Mason Wynn. And we've got an on-card Leon Roberts from 77 Tops and a Paul Goldschmidt right there. That's really, really cool of you to send those over. I'll just be giving these to the kiddos to, to put in their collection because I, I honestly feel bad keeping your cards. My daughter has a collection going right now of Ellie De La Cruz. Sophia's got a collection of Andrew McCutcheon and Jose Canseco. You should see her vanity. It used to be just a couple pictures of me on there. Now there's all these Jose Canseco cards all lined up. There's more of him than me. We've got a McCutcheon Donruss card from 2018. We've got Connor Joe. Some buckos in here. Key Brian Hayes. That's a cool card right there. National Baseball Card Day. Oh, I like this one. Barry Bonds. When it was a game, Fleer Ultra. Connor Joe numbered icy red. And Key Brian Hayes and Andrew Foil Board right there. That's some good stuff. I'll put those in Sophia Stack over here. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And that's really good that you're watching our videos. I really appreciate it. And it makes me happy that we've got kiddos in the hobby because, you know, we'd like to see the hobby continue on. So you guys are the future of this hobby. You seven-year-old, eight-year-old, nine-year-old, second, third, fourth graders out there. We've got our next one coming up. Let's see what we've got. This is a thank you note. And there's... All this too. Let's take a look. Ow. <laughs> this is very sharp. 
I gotta check and see if I cut myself there. Wow, that, that plastic is super sharp. All right, let's see what we've got. We will proceed with caution. There is a note, I believe, in here, and there's some cards here. We've got the goat Barry Bonds right there. Bucko's cards. Let's check this note out. It says, here's the fun part. Wait, I think, okay, we start on the bottom first, then we go to the top. It says, I can only echo what's been said thousands of times. You're appreciated. Just a box of nothing except some smiles. A couple nothings for you, a couple for your beautiful lady. I feel like I've heard you hit your brother on the gentleman top head. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I heard you, your, your, what's that say? I heard you, does that say hit? Bit your brother? I don't know. But uh, it says, here's the fun part. With every influencer card you sign, they become less and less rare. I believe I have a solution, albeit only for me. There's a card in this box that would be over the moon if you autoed it, and not just any auto, but inscribe it one of one or never again, or anything to that effect. Again, must much appreciated from Jordan. So your suggestion is to make them less and less rare. I actually ordered a whole bunch of markers, like ink pens, and we've got these influencer cards from Costa Rica Card Collector. There's probably, I don't know, like a good over 100 of them here. I'm going to sign them all and send them back to him. And he's going to slap them up and then flood the market with those for people. I'm just going to send them out. Honestly, I'm just planning on sending people for free. I'm not going to charge for my auto. But I think he's going to keep some. Then I think I'm going to keep some. But let's see what we have here. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can see exactly what card you'd like me to sign. So here's some McCutcheon cards. I should get Sophia down here. She's upstairs working right now on her schoolwork. Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, she's going to love these. One of these days I should do a uh, – I don't think – I think I did a house tour once when I first bought this house. But then I was like, yeah, that kind of seems a little bit creepy, and then I made it private. But maybe I'll give you a, a, a tour of Sophia's areas, and you'll see all the Jose Canseco's and now Andrew McCutcheon's. Thank you very much. I will forward those on to her. I got a big stack for her here. So put those in with the stuff that you guys have sent her today. And we've got Barry Bonds, the GOAT. Barry Bonds cards for me. We've got the 88 Donruss Bonds. We've got the 90 Fleer Bonds, the 91 Score Franchise card. We've got the Treasury Bonds card. And this one says, please sign. All right. So the Barry Bonds 94 Collector's Choice Face card. And... I got to make sure. Do I have your address? Oh, boy. Now I see that note. I don't know if I have your address because you sent me a, a package, but I threw everything in the trash. So I don't know which one might be yours that that came in. So if you just want to email me your address, that would be great because, honestly, I pre-open everything and, and throw the uh, the wrappers away. And if you, if you look at my trash can right now, it's actually overflowing with trash. I'm not sure. Like, I've got one here that could be yours. Is this it? I, I honestly can't remember. Let's see. The return name is DMP. I don't think that's right. But anyway, yeah, send me an email. That'll make it a little bit easier. I'll put that off to the side. Oh, there we go. Address on the other side. That's, you know, if anyone ever does have something that they would send me and want it sent back, always send a self-addressed stamped envelope. That makes it so much easier. So perfect. I'll keep that there. And you even, I guess it's not stamped, but you even sent some money for postage, which is really cool of you. So thank you very much. What else do we have here? Bucko's cards. Tim Wakefield right there. Rest in peace, Tim Wakefield. And these cards I'll be giving to my daughters. They like Pirates cards. In fact, they took a whole bunch of them in the game. Then they're like looking at the cards to see like who's at bat. It's like Connor, now batting Connor. Then they're looking through the cards and they're all like 2022 Pirates that aren't even on the team anymore. It's like, yeah, you're not going to get that one. So some nice ones right there. Thank you very much. I'll put those aside for the kiddos. And it says a vet all who wonder are lost. Not, I think that's an N. Not all who wonder are lost except this guy. He long gone. Oh boy. I think I know who this is. 
yeah, that's Wander Franco. And I don't know why he sent me these. I'm going to have to... Uh, I don't ever destroy cards on camera because I think that that's probably not, not a good thing to do. But I can't keep these cards. I'm actually going to dispose of these. But thank you very much for helping take four Wander Franco cards out of circulation. So folks... I got really interrupted there. I usually like to do these videos in just one take. No editing involved, but now I have to edit and stitch these together. I'll probably give you a little preview of tomorrow's um, channel member only video now. But yeah, I just got completely interrupted by my timer. The Jared Jones that I mentioned earlier, I lost track of the time and it went off. And I scurried over to eBay and I won. I want a 2024 Tops update, Jared Jones, Independence Day out of 76 rookie card, rookie debut version, for just $41. So that's a pretty low number of card. That rainbow will be pretty easy to build for the rookie debut one. I figure it's not going to be that expensive. If a set out of 76 is 41, the camo is probably going to be like 60 or 70. The one of one of that, if I can ever find it, might be 200 bucks or so. So it, I think I'm going to try it. I got the Independence Day. There's a whole bunch of more that, but I might start focusing on the Jared Jones update rookie cards because his cards are way down. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Now let's share this with you. This is the Nico pack. He's from Italy and he sent dozens of these packages back in 2020 with no return address. And they just showed up and I was like, what is this? I'm not opening these. Um, but then one day I was like, you know what? I, uh, curiosity got the better of me. I took a look inside, and it was actually some cool stuff. He sent some really nice stuff from Italy over the past. Honestly, we've been open these since like July, one per week. They just never end. Let's see what we've got this week. This week from Nico. I always like to open them on camera too. Typically, I open everything uh, in advance to save time, but I like to be kind of surprised here. So we have some cards here from. Italy. Again, I don't speak Italian, so maybe some of you guys might be Italian, but it looks like they're maybe superhero cards, <laughs> which are pretty cool. They're stickers. Throw those in the prize box along with the, the Pokemon cards. <clears throat> oh, man, there's, there's money in here. More money from overseas. I've got this one kid that comes up every day. He's like, you need any help for any of that European money? And I'm like, sure. Why don't you put the desk in order? You can take take one. <laughs> He's like, so he actually collects these. And I just give them away to, to him. He's especially interested in these. And uh, Nico sent a whole bunch of different bills from Europe over the past few months in his packages. <clears throat> We've got Philippine money right here. I guess Philippine money. 100 bucks. Now, obviously, that's not $100. It might be worth a buck or even cents on some of these. Brazil right there. That's pretty cool. All these different... I don't know what Nico's job is, Romania, but he seems to maybe have done a whole bunch of traveling. I can't read that at all. That looks like it's in Arabic. Um, no idea... So all these different that here's Iraq. So a half a dine is it di diner from Iraq? I'm not very familiar with currency from around the world. Slovenia right there. Wow. So <laughs> this guy looks mad. This is pretty awesome right here. All this money. Rupees. This is pretty cool. So I'll put those in to the prize box. And I, honestly, when, whenever I, a kid does take this, he goes back to his seat, he gets out his currency converter, and he starts looking it up. He's like, it's actually worth like a quarter, but I'll still take it. This is pretty cool. I just wish there wasn't tape all over these because I'm afraid that I'm going to rip some of this. All right, so all that money we'll put in there. There's also a little booklet here from Italy. All in Italian, which is pretty cool. There's a second one here as well. <laughs> and then Nico sends a little note, usually in Italian there, with his address on it. And I got a... I wish there was an email on there so I could say, like, are you still at this address? Because I'll, I'll send you a box. 
in return because this is really cool stuff. So, Nico, if you're watching out there somewhere, thank you very much. And everybody, thank you very much for watching tonight. We'll give you a little preview of tomorrow's channel member only video. Just a sneak peek. It'll be live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern on our channel member page here on YouTube. You can click become a member here to sign up. I think it's usually right next to the subscribe button if there is one. And uh, also we'll be live on Wednesday, two days on whatnot. Use this link to sign up, get $15 for free, become a seller, get $150 for free and matching funds on your first $150 worth of sales. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Have a great rest of your evening and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody. Where's our